All right, guys. So look what I got in the mail. I say let's hop right into this. I just want to give this a preliminary look. From the moment I heard that uh, Mr. Bardwell was partaking in the design of his own endorsed flight controller, I was curious exactly what he was going to do with it. And so, this just came in the mail. I'm actually on my way out the door, but I'm going to take a couple minutes and do this kind of physical walkthrough and uh, take a look at a couple things. It's kind of the first time I'm seeing this, so... Uh, and anyway, and then I'm also going to take a look, because one of the things that really, really interests me about when he partakes in something is his documentation. So I'm going to have an another part to this that uh, takes a look at that. We'll see how long that takes to get out. So initially looking here, through a lot of the spots uh, surrounding some of these coils and some of these, um, forget what you call those things. But anyway, they, they filter, they don't filter, they limit resistance, uh, they limit voltage. And he's got a banks of capacitors around these major items. There's even some sort of inverter here. Uh, looks like it's got some capacitance set around it. Yeah. So there's the flight controller processor itself. Of course, you expected black box with, you know, anything coming from Bardwell because he loves his black box stuff. There's your beta flight OSD chip. And then we've got an array of pads all over for the different things. Everything from camera control, which is awesome to see. Um, you've got variable voltage that you can control by means of... Well, there's a spare 5 volt pad there. But there's supposed to be, here it is, where you can bridge these pins and you can have your 5 volt be either 3.3 .3 or 5 volt. Um, I have to look and see where that's, what voltage that affects, whether it's these pads, these pads, or all the pads. Other than that, you know, you got your obligatory, you've got your obligatory boot button there. Not a huge fan of that, where it's placed. Now, I know that the more time goes on, the less we really need it, um, because you can enter that same mode through your CLI, uh, but there are times where I've had to get at it, and that's buried a little more than most, um, but I don't anticipate that being a huge deal. What's cool is seeing the gyro set right in the center of the board there. It's not something we see with a lot of different modern flight controllers. They just kind of squeeze them wherever they fit, and it works. Obviously, it works, but in the center, it's supposed to work better um, just because it turns out to be much, much closer to the center of the craft, and so as it's doing all of its things... Um, including and in especially things like yaw, that happens to be, and even roll, that happens to be right in the center. And if you happen to even get this right in the CG of your aircraft, then I'm sure that has benefits as well. Now, as I look around and look at the ESC pads, the one thing I'm not seeing are telemetry pads. I see signal and ground, which is cool. Um... But I don't see telemetry, and with BL Heli 32 gaining in popularity, more people are going to be going that way. Um, kind of surprises me that there aren't telemetry pads there. It's not a huge deal, because we have plenty of UARTs. Um, and on these boards, what you do is you take all of your telemetry wires from all your motors, and you run them to one pad. So, I mean, it's a little less convenient, or not even convenient, it's a little less neat, but... Everything that we need is still here. You want to know what I really love? Look at this. If you head over to Race Day Quads, and we scroll down, we have a link here for a manual. But when you look at this thing, this is not your normal manual. Okay, so as we look through here, you can find all your general information right up front. You can find for people that are more familiar with doing this and maybe even, uh, you know, do it all the time or you're more experienced pilot. 
You can find all of your information here that you might need. Even here, you get a quick reference, but let's say that you are new to the hobby, like all of us once were and some of us still are. What you're going to find is that there is no good documentation for how to do any of this or to walk you through it until now. And that's where following this manual from front to back will walk you through as you follow it where you need to wire each one of your components, how, installing drivers for beta flight, flashing, configuring, you name it, it is all covered in here. This is above and beyond any other flight control manual available. So if this is the sort of thing we can begin to expect from anything endorsed by Joshua Bardwell, then I may as well change my name or just confess my unconditional love to him and see where we can go with that. So good. I'm looking at throwing this into, into a build. The question is, do I go all in one ESC? Or I've got some BL Heli 32 ESCs here because this is D-Shot 600. And do I put it on race or do I put it on a freestyle rig? Even got a few of these floating around now. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. 